All right, class, this is a quick introduction to VEX VR code. One of the first things you're going to do is navigate over to v, uh, vr.vex.com. And when you do, this is what you're going to see. So here is where you're going to be building your projects. And let's go ahead and get started with your very first assignment. Right here are the blocks of code. If you've ever done Scratch before, this should seem very, very familiar. So I just want to give you a quick primer on how to move these around. And I thought we could go ahead and work on your very first assignment and do that one together. The first thing we want to do is click on Playground. And right now it says Grid Map here. And this is our grid map. We're going to change that to Wall Maze for our first assignment. All right, so there's our wall maze. Uh, if you have a small screen, you can leave this small. You can move it around wherever you need to. Uh, if you have a bigger screen, you can go ahead and expand it. And then we have a couple different views. This is our robot right here. The red lines are the maze, and this is our robot. We can take a look at it this way. So there's that cute little robot, and we're going to see what happens as we drive. So I'm just toggling back and forth between these two here. Move that to the side a little bit. And our first goal is to get get this thing moving. Let's not say where it's going to go. Let's find out together where it's going to go. So first thing we're going to do is grab this code. All these blues are basically your drivetrain. All right? There's magnets. There's the looks. There's control. There's all kinds of great stuff here. We're going to start out on our first assignment with just drivetrain. So there's drive. But if you pick drive, you're going to have to tell it how far forward to go. And it won't work at this point because there's still a gap here. And these have to be connected. You see there's a little puzzle shape here that helps them fit together. So we could go forward or we could go reverse. But it's just going to keep going and going and going. And that's not what we want. We want to control how far it goes. After all, we're in a maze. So I pick drive forward. Right now it says 200. I'd like you to change that to 250. All right, then there is a left turn that we need to make. But right here, you'll see that it says right turn. But this will be okay because there's a pull down menu here. And we can switch this from right to left. And then you're going to do that for 90 degrees. Next, you're going to drive forward again. So we grab drive forward again for 250 just like it did, said here, 250. And we're leaving these on millimeters. These could be switched to inches. Uh, if you ever felt more comfortable working with inches, you could work with inches. But for your first assignment, I'm giving you the values, and they're in millimeters. Then we're going to make another turn, again to the left. And then finally, we're going to drive forward for 225. 25. So we have a drive forward, a left turn, a forward again for the same distance we went in the beginning, a leather left turn, and then we drive for 225. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. So this is going to be your first assignment. You're going to make this code and then you're going to make it, uh, you're going to drive it. How do you drive it? You can push the play button here. Or you can push start up here. To reset everything, you can push this button. So watch, when I hit start, it's going to keep going. It's going to start going. and But I'm going to hit stop before it reaches its destination. So there it goes, but I'm going to hit stop. Because I want you, I'm going to show you reset. There we go, we went to reset. And we could also do it this way. Start. And stop. I'm going to let you find out where it's going to go, and that's going to be the first question I ask you. All right, have fun with your coding. See you next time.